Today, let's see what happens when you make usage of a static field during serialization. So as you can see, we are having employee class here, which is implementing the serializable interface. Then we are having fields as ID, name and password. The password field is static here. Now in the demo class, we are having a code to write the object, which is serializing. And then we are reading it back, which is deserializing. Now let's execute the code. So you will see that it is working fine and there is nothing wrong in it. ID is same, name is same, password is also same. But what if I say you the static field was never serialized? What if I say you that this static field was never saved into the file? The reason is very simple because you see, whenever we make a field or a method as static, then it is not related with that particular object. Instead, it gets connected with the whole class itself. Then you will say that, okay, then how is it possible that during deserializing, it is able to provide you the correct password. For this, let me show you a magic. What I will do now is that first of all, I'm going to write again. Then before reading, I'm going to create one more object of employee. And there I will be keeping the password as magic. Now let's again execute. So you see, I was writing it as password, but while reading back, it provided the password as magic. The reason is that before you were reading it, you created one more employee object. And during that employee object creation, you provided password as magic. Now with the whole employee class, the password became as magic. And that's the reason only which I was saying you that here it is going to provide you the password which was saved in the class and not from the file. Do like the video if you learned something new today. Thanks.